What's up friends? Welcome back to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Alex, my pronouns are he, him, and this is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks where I recommend you queer books and I like to create my own bookish challenges. Today I'm going to be doing Would You Read It? This was created by Bear. They tagged me in it so thank you because this is such a cool concept. So I have a stack of books beside me and I am going to convince you to read them based on the first sentence. So I'll read you the first sentence. All of the books I mentioned will be linked down below and let me know if I convinced you to read it. Let's get started. First is Pet by Akwike Amezi. There shouldn't be any monsters left in Lucille. Off the Record by Cameron Garrett. At Josie the Journalist. Help, I forgot how to write. Chapter 1. I've rewritten the same sentence five different times. Skate for Your Life by Leo Baker. Are you a boy or a girl? Oh, that question. <laughs> the eternal question of my life. The questions that seem to follow me everywhere I go. A Kind of Spark by L. McNichol. This handwriting is utterly disgraceful. The Passing Playbook by Isaac Fitzsimons. Spencer's morning went to hell when some asshole on a dirt bike swerved in front of Mom's Subaru. Little Do We Know by Tamara Ireland Stone. This is actually one of my favorite YA contemporaries and I haven't talked about it in a long time. There were 36 steps between Emery's bedroom window and mine. My favorite book, The Beauty That Remains by Ashley Woodfolk. You know that I had to put this in here because I need you all to read it. So this book opens up with a text message or like email kind of format. So I'm actually just going to read what is here. So there is like the first sentence, but there's a little bit more that I'm going to read. Autumn, January 14th, 10.48 a.m. I just saw you yesterday. There's no way this is real. It can't be. I keep waiting for you to call. Tavia may not be on Hangouts right now. She'll see your messages later. Please read this. <laughs> there is a trigger warning for a car accident and there is a lot of grief in this book. It tackles grief. That's basically the plot. So if that's something you can't read, totally respect it. But if you can, please read it. It's so good. Ashley Woodfolk is my favorite author and she is so underrated and I hope that this convinced you to read it. Like this is probably like the millionth time I've talked about it. So I hope that I have persuaded you enough. <laughs> if you don't want to read it, honestly, no hard feelings. And last is Stay Gold by Topley McSmith. Um, my other favorite book. These are just all my favorite books. Tuesday, August 27th, 2019. Pony, 8.37 a.m. Fade in, exterior parking lot. The imaginary director calls action and the scene opens on new kids sitting alone in his car on the first day of school. And that was me. Oh, okay. Well, all the books just literally fell on the ground. So that was me convincing you to read my favorite books based on their first sentence or just the first couple of lines. Thank you to Bear for tagging me this and creating it because it's so cool and I love it. As someone who loves to recommend books a lot on my channel, I love these kind of videos and I enjoyed this. So if you did as well, don't forget to give it a like so more people can see it and hopefully get a new book recommendation. If you like queer books and you need more recommendations, feel free to hit subscribe because I make book recommendations a lot. And as I'm doing the 12 days of Vlogmas, there's going to be a lot of book recommendation videos coming your way. So feel free to hit subscribe and turn on my bell notifications. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me further where I have you vote on video ideas. I interact with you in a private discord and 
I also share exclusive videos on there like my monthly wrap-ups. So if you are interested in any of that and would like to support me further, you can pledge $1 to become a paperback pale and join our community over there. Thank you for watching, thank you for supporting, and thank you for choosing this video to click on. I really appreciate it because there's a lot of Vlogmas videos going on and I'm sure your subscription feeds are just filled with lots of videos. So thank you very much for choosing my video. I really appreciate it and I will see you tomorrow for another video. Bye.